Hey, how's it going everyone? Saints fam back again with another GTA Online video and today we'll be taking a look at the Seabreeze, the newest aircraft that was released into GTA Online. We'll be answering the question, is it worth it? Should you buy it? And we'll also be taking a look at the new event week that Rockstar are doing for Halloween. So we'll actually start with that event week first just to quickly go through some of the discounts and some of the ways to make double money so the discounts this week, we have 25% off all returning Halloween content, as well as the Duke of Death. And this is all going through next Tuesday, the 6th of November. They are also taking 25% off the Besra, the Blazer Aqua, the Hangar Custom Shop, the Progen GP1, the Grotti Cheetah Classic, the Heavy Insurgent, the Lampadati Toro, and all melee weapons. The targeted sales this week are actually pretty decent. You have 40% off of Super Yachts, 25% off of Yacht Renovations, and 35% off the Buzzard, the Valkyrie, and the Volatas. So honestly, I mean, not, nothing too special with the deals. As for ways to make double money, they're continuing the way through the Condemned Adversary mode. If you play that, you have double GTA money on that. So that's kind of good. Also, if you're selling the, the smugglers, or if you're doing the smugglers run sell missions, you get double GTA money for yourself in addition to your bodyguards or associates. And I believe they're also doing double money on the stockpile adversary mode. And then one last thing, if you haven't logged into GTA Online over the last few days, definitely log in before November 6th, I believe, because you get a free $400,000. So that's the event week, nothing special. Kind of sucks, you know, but hey, whatever. Now the Sea Breeze. Let's talk about it. This is the newest aircraft, and it's not bad, but it's not good. That's what I would say. That's how I would describe this vehicle. It is only 1.1 million and then 850,000 if you do 36 unlock missions. So the price isn't that bad. 850,000, I would say, for most people is what it's going to cost. And, you know, that's the price of an old school supercar. So at least it's got a decent price for what it does. Now, in terms of customization, it really doesn't have anything special. The liveries are, are very, very basic, and I was kind of disappointed with that. It's mainly the same ones, just with a few extra little things added or maybe a different color. I'm really, uh, you know, upset that they didn't do anything special or cool with the liveries because that would have given it another reason to, you know, make people buy it. But the customization is nothing that will stand out to you. As for weapons, really the only two weapons you can add to this are the 762 cannons, which I'll talk about in a second, and obviously the bomb bay, which pretty much every plane in this DLC has had. And those weapons, let's talk about them. You'll see in the gameplay, I just went up to one of the, the jets in the military base just to see how, how quick it would kill it or blow it up basically. They're not good at all. That's kind of to be expected because they're not explosive and they're not like the pyro, but it it took a pretty decent amount to blow up the jet as you saw in the clip. So I would say this thing is not going to beat any other plane really in some sort of dogfight. Now, I guess what is good about this plane is that since it does have the bomb bay, it might be a pretty solid bomber plane. I know one of the best in the game is the Starling, just because you have the boost and it can, you know, you can quickly get away. But the the really good thing about the Seabreeze is that it's very quick. I was really shocked to see how quick and how fast it was. I mean, yeah, it's not gonna blow away the any of the jets in the game, but for what it is, it's very quick and it's it's pretty easy to handle. Really, I think the biggest pro to this vehicle is that it can land on water and pretty much. Water does nothing to this. You can dive bomb the ocean from the top of the map going full speed and your plane will just emerge like a freaking dolphin or something. So it, it really, it's really good in that regard. And I think, you know, it's kind of cool if you maybe spend a lot of time out on the ocean because you can get out and have it just completely floating out there with no one in it and then hop right back in. I believe this is one of the, the few vehicles apart from boats in the game that you can do that. It does have two seats, so you can have another person in there, which is kind of nice. But I guess ultimately answering the question, is it worth it? Should you buy it? It's a tough one to answer because the price is so low. $850,000 is not really much nowadays. So I would say if you like collecting aircraft, if you want something completely different, something that you probably won't use that often, but maybe on the off chance you need a plane that can land on water, you use it you know, every now and then. 
it might not be a bad purchase. I'm not gonna say it's a good purchase, but it's also not gonna be a horrible purchase. I would say just know if you are buying this, it's not gonna do anything in terms of dog fighting capabilities. This is strictly going to be a bomber plane that can land on water, if that, you know? It obviously can get flares and all that added like every other plane, so that'll help, you know, if you're in the city and you're getting chased by someone or if you're getting shot on by homing launchers. But really, if there's a Hydra or a Pyro or someone after you, you're probably going to die in a dogfight because this thing just, it it's not as good as those planes. And I guess, like I said, another kind, at least that I don't like, is the customization. Even the paint job isn't that good. So for me, I wouldn't buy it, but if you were someone that has a ton of money and is looking you know for something to just change change the pace or change the way you play the game a little bit then you may want to look into it but i would suggest just waiting holding your money because the hunter is coming out in a couple of weeks and the laser and the nakoda three better aircraft so wait for those and buy those instead but that's my review it's not bad but it's not good. So there you guys have it. Thank you all for watching. Let me know in the comments what you think of the Seabreeze. Do you like it? Do you not like it? Do you think, just like I think, it's, it's nothing special? Let me know in the comments. Thank you all. Please drop the video like if you did enjoy. Subscribe, all that stuff. And as always, I'll see you guys in the next one.